What if I told you there is a country where over 175 languages are spoken, people text more than anywhere else in the world, and boxing fights directly influence crime rates? It sounds pretty much unbelievable, but it's all true in the Philippines. Let's dig in. Number 15, there are more than 175 spoken languages. There are two official languages in the Philippines. Filipino, based on Tagalog, and English. Filipino is the most commonly spoken in pop culture. Sounds pretty much unbelievable, but it's all true in the Philippines language. And the government of the country uses English in their work. By the way, the Philippines are number five on the list of the world's top English-speaking populations after US, India, Pakistan, and the UK. All this sounds pretty plain and ordinary, but in fact, the diverse linguistic groups living in the country use over 175 languages for their internal communication. Since many of them exist only in spoken form, it's impossible to calculate the exact amount. Number 14, their capital is the most densely populated city in the world. The nation's capital, Manila, and its 16 surrounding cities that make up Metro Manila area have a population of 12.8 million people. The nation's capital, Manila, and its 16 surrounding cities that make up Metro. During daytime, this number gets way higher since many people come here to work. And while the number doesn't sound that crazy, take note that all of these people live and work in an area of 16.56 square miles. This makes the population density equal to 11,002 people per square mile. And that's five times higher than in Mumbai or Paris, for example. Number 13, they have churches in shopping malls. Shopping malls aren't merely a place where you buy stuff for Filipinos. They are safe, air-conditioned community hubs with gyms, health clinics, concert halls, nightclubs, parks, and even churches inside. So it's no surprise they are the favorite place to meet up with friends for so many locals and three of the world's 10 largest shopping malls sorry, located in the Philippines. They are Mega Fashion Hall of SM Mega Mall, SM City, North Edsa, and SM Mall of Asia. Number 12, Filipinos are the number one texting nation in the world. You already know Filipinos love meeting up, meet up with friends for so many locals, and three of the world's 10 largest shopping malls with friends at shopping malls. And when they can't see each other in person, they text. And when they do it, they rarely limit it to, hey, how are you? In fact, they send about 400 million texts a day, and that's around 142 billion texts a year. It's more than the US and Europe put together. Not exactly a little number for a country of 107 million people. Number 11, they have a unique form of transportation. If you visit Manila, you'll notice some interesting looking vehicles called Jeep Knees. They are converted US Army Jeeps that stayed in the country after World War II. Filipinos adapted them to transport up to 18 passengers who jump on the jeepney going in their direction and ring the bell for it to stop. There are about 50,000 jeepneys in Manila and they all look different with basketball stars, cartoon characters, inspirational quotes, neon lights and whatnot on them. There are two major problems with jeepneys safety concerns and pollution, they produce huge amounts of black smoke. So hurry up if you want a ride before they get replaced with a rapid transit system. Number 10, one of the islands has more volcanoes than towns. The Philippines are without a doubt a super scenic location. Among all of the islands that are part of it, Kemigan sure stands out with more volcanoes per square mile than any other island on the planet. The island is 14 miles long, and 8.5 miles wide and has seven volcanoes and five towns. And even though earthquakes and eruptions shaped it, volcanoes have been deep asleep since the 50s, so thousands of tourists can safely visit the island these days. Number nine, their national flag has a secret meaning. The national flag of the Philippines has two bands of blue and scarlet and a white triangle at the hoist with a yellow sun with eight rays each of them standing for one province of the country. The yellow stars stand for the three largest island groups, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. But here's the real kicker. What makes the flag really unique is that it can be reversed to declare a state of war. 
Number eight, boxing directly affects crime rates in the country. Filipinos love boxing and are crazy about their most famous boxer, Manny Pacquiao. Whenever he fights, the whole country is glued to its TV sets. And get this, according to the Philippine National Police, crime rates in the country drop significantly when he's in the ring. That's right. It's like all the criminals decide to take a break and catch the fight too. In fact, during his 12-round fight against American boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. that went on from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. so we not a single crime was committed in the whole Manila metropolitan area. I guess even the bad guys are fans of Manny Pacquiao. Number eight, a lot of Filipinos work abroad. Maybe it's because of their flexible and reliable nature, or perhaps it's their excellent English language skills. But did you know that a whopping 11 million Filipinos work abroad? That's 11% of the entire population. And guess what? A quarter of all overseas nurses come from the Philippines. Number seven, their rice terraces are the eighth wonder of the world. Banawe rice terraces are the oldest in the world and were so smartly designed, they still bring a harvest of rice and vegetables, most of which get exported. And it is believed if all the terraces had been built end to end, they would stretch halfway around the world. Today, these places bring the country more money as a tourist destination than rice plantations, and thus they play an important role for the economy of the Philippines. Number six, they produce a lot of coconuts. For years, the Philippines had been the number one producer of coconuts in the world. Even though the leadership now belongs to Indonesia, 153,932,000 tons per year is still an impressive number, isn't it? Number five, the first European to visit the Philippines was Ferdinand Magellan. The legendary explorer made the first record of the archipelago among the Europeans in 1521. He founded the first settlement in Cebu, and thus most of the area became a Spanish colony. This explains the fact that around 90% of the population are Christian, unlike most of the country's neighbors. In 1898, the Philippines went under U.S. rule and later, in 1946, became an independent republic. Number four, a Filipino made the first karaoke machine. If you love to sing along, you ought to thank Filipinos for your favorite pastime. The first karaoke machine in the world was created in 1975 by Roberto del Rosario. He patented it as the sing-along system, and even though there were some attempts to claim his creation, he still remains the only patent holder for the karaoke system. Number three, the population is extremely good looking. Along with their love for boxing, texting, and shopping, Filipinos are crazy about beauty pageants. It might be the years of American rule that gave them this love for competitive beauty, but the fact remains a fact. They have won in all the major international pageants 15 times. There were four girls crowned Miss Universe, one Miss World, six title holders of Miss International, and four Miss Earth crowns. Number two, underground river paradise. The Philippines boasts the world's longest navigable underground river, the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, stretching over five miles. Number one, Christmas extravaganza. <laughs> the Philippines holds the title for the longest Christmas season in the world, starting in September and lasting until January. So that's all about the Philippines. 